Hey guys, welcome back to Sly 2 Port 46, and here's the cutscene for a charge TNT run. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. Okay, guys, so uh, I just cut the video because I died once, and... In this mission, pretty much all you need to do is sneak past these flashlight guards, which are located all around the blimp, and uh, make your way up to these arrows over here, where there's going to be like these red neon things, and you'll have to pick them up in your barrel, which is pretty easy. All you need to do is walk up to them, and it'll just latch onto your barrel, kind of like Ratchet and Clank, how the bolts just automatically draw to you. Um... Yeah, but today I tried to record my Pinnacle uh, 510 USB. I tried to use it in Windows Movie Maker, and it says... Oh, wait. Yeah, that was an epic fail, but pretty much all I tried to do there was jump out of the barrel, because I thought you had to blow up those pillars for some reason. I don't know. But uh, today I tried to record in Windows Movie Maker, and I kind of had trouble a little bit because it said that my device was not being was uh, being used in another program when my pinnacle when my uh, studio 14 wasn't even on I have no clue if you guys know anything about that like um, when it says like your device is already being used in, a, in another program just put it down in the comments how you could fix that if you guys know that because I'm trying to record in movie maker because it's lag free in there and I might just export my video clips into Studio 14 so I could edit them. Or I could just find another program like Total Media Extreme, which I use for my PVR. Uh, because I'm trying to get my PVR recording studio to uh, record my P uh, Pinnacle 510 USB. Uh, yeah, but enough talking about that. If you guys have any questions or uh, any comments about what I'm saying, just put it down below. Because I need help with that, because I want to put out more videos with no lag. And that was a really close move there. That bird almost got him in my uh, way. Um, But uh, yeah, I got two out of three right now. I'm going to get my final one, which is over here. And I posted two videos yesterday. One was a Sly 2 video. And the uh, other one was my future Let's Play, which is going to be Conflict Desert Storm. Okay, so uh, you just heard Bentley talk, and I'm going to skip to the part where I go to um, the engine room, where Bentley's going to be. And it's right over here. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to go up here on this rotating platform. Very carefully, don't fall. And today, I think we're going to do two missions, maybe. Or no, only one, I think. But in the next video, we'll finish up all the missions. And then we'll be done with the game, which I'll probably upload tomorrow. This is the final video. Um, yeah. But, uh, as you know, this is President's Day weekend. And I'm probably not going to be here Sunday or Monday, so I won't upload. Or, I am going to upload because I'm going to record Jack tomorrow and finish that game up. And then I'll upload at my grandma's house. So I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. And uh, here's the cutscene up here because we're finally at the gate area. Where we have to blow up the door. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Okay guys, we got that job complete. And I forgot, we're going to do another mission. Which is going to be, I think, let me look over here. Sly and Bentley conspire, but first, this is going to be the end of this recording session, so let me skip to the next one, because, as you remember from Valentine's Day, I did a live recording, but it didn't work, so, uh, that was pretty much a fail right there. 
But uh, let's go and do Sly and Bentley conspire. Which is all the way down there. And let me cut until I get it down there because that looks like a far walk from here. So let's cut here. And here's the cutscene coming up once I get on top of this balloon. Here we go. To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll peg over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Okay, guys, so this is the last pickpocketing mission in Sly 2, and I hope you guys enjoy it because... I really like these pickpocketing missions, even though they can go on forever. Especially in um, the Contessa's area, the second part of the Contessa's area. When there's like that giant castle with Neela fighting. Uh, but we got the first key out of five. There's four more left. And you can see they're all over this area on the blimp. But it's really easy to get the keys in this area just because they're not really high up to get like on those rotating fans and stuff. I really hate those fans because it gets annoying after a while to climb up them. Oh, uh, we got that key. Yeah, like I was saying, after I finish Psychonauts and Ratchet and Clank, I'm gonna be doing Slide 3 on my, PV on my PVR because I got the Slide Collection for Christmas. And I'm also gonna be doing Ratchet 2 Going Commando. Hopefully by then I'll get Windows Movie Maker recording with my PVR. I'm going to try to fix that problem. I want to get it recording with no lag because I just cannot fix that stupid lag problem. And I don't want it to trouble my LPs anymore. <clears throat> okay, so just taking out these guards right now because it looks like they caught on to me. But not to worry, we got our cane. I might make a video when I get all the power-ups later on this year, or like a montage of just me getting the power-ups and killing guards, I don't know. Okay, we got those uh, guards out of the way. Now let's go and get this guy by gliding all the way over here on this wooden box. This is a pretty ninja move right here. Now let's jump down and let's pickpocket him through the chest. That's one of the weirdest glitches. Okay, so we got those. Now we need two more keys. It's really easy to find them. One is over there, and the other is on a ladder, I think. That was nice how they put that right there. But let me hurry up and get over there. It might take a while. Oh no, it doesn't. The guard's right here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'll make sure, guys, when I'm doing my ratchet. Oh, I just got that guy in the fan. That gotta been br that had to have been brutal. Uh, but yeah, when I'm doing my ratchet and Psychonauts LPs, I'll try to make sure that it is live commentary, and I do select my Logitech mic instead of my computer mic. And I'll try not to make any mistakes. And uh, I'll try not to make it have any lag, even though that's kind of hard to do on my co on my laptop. But I'm planning on buying a desktop computer for my room. I don't know, though. Because I really like my laptop. It's pretty cool. Plus, it has a lot of built-in features that come with it. But here's that ladder I was talking about. This is where the last guard is going to be. And in the next part, which is going to be part 47, we're going to be doing the hacking mission with um, Bentley and Murray team up. And then we're going to do the final boss battle with... Uh, what's his name? Oh, Clockla. That's it. There might actually be three more parts in the game. Oh, sorry if you guys heard noise. <clears throat> I might make this walk through 50 parts. It's a really long game. Okay, we got the last key. And I'm going to let Bentley talk. Okay, so now I'm going to cut to where uh, the lock thing is.
Okay, now Bentley's going to go in here, and pretty much all you need to do in here is take out these uh, little rotating things. They're like electric beams. And I just cut the video there, but you guys really didn't notice it. All you need to do is shoot the bottom one and then the top one. Or the top one and the bottom one. It doesn't really matter. But, like, say um, you shoot the top one of one rotating platform, and then you go on to a next one. The whole area will, like, electrocute. So you have to stay on one rotating platform at a time. It's kind of weird, though. I really have no clue uh, why this mission was even made, because it's kind of weird. Oh, crap. My computer went to sleep. Okay. Almost there. <clears throat> Missed that one. There we go. Not too good at quick scoping. On slide two. Oh, we got that one. These ones, when they come around that corner, it's actually quite easy to take them out. Uh, got that one, and then we'll get the top. There we go. Then we got one more. Well, actually, two more. No, three. I don't know. I can't count. Okay. Here's the final one right now. <clears throat> and then a cutscene uh, cut should be coming up. Okay, yeah, here it is. Or no. I forgot, we still got a top layer. What am I talking about? Yeah, what? Uh, so now that you got that little area down here done, let's go up to the top area. Which I will cut the video because um, I figured out how you need to do this top area. There's like these robots that come and try to kill you, and I thought you had to take those out, but really what you need to do is take out these buttons on the floor. As you can see I'm bombing them right now. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, because I spent like 10 minutes trying to kill all those robots being stupid. But oh well. Yeah, so just take out all those buttons on the floor and then flip the switch over here. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for next time when we'll do the final missions in Sly 2.